Go for Leadership, the podcast with Daniel and Gerd. Hello and welcome for today's episode. My name is Daniel and uh, you are listening in to the Go for Leadership podcast. With me today is my guest Daniel Pino. Go for Leadership interviews. Hello, Daniel. Nice to meet you. Hi, Daniel. Nice to meet you too. Perfect. Like always, uh, it would be great that you could introduce yourself um, so that our listeners can uh, get to know you. Yeah, okay. So I'm uh, in uh, next month, will be 60 years old, old guy. But the uh, other side have a lot of experience, especially in leadership. I was um, about more than 25 years uh, managing director of one of the yes, uh, most important uh, leadership academies in Germany, the at Hartsburg uh, Leadership Academy and I was uh, also about five years member of the board of a big uh, education company with more than 3,000 employees. This is the first thing that I'm a practical leader. I have a lot of practical experience in leadership. The second is I have written about uh, still now more than seven books about leadership. One of my book is in Germany very famous and is translated in English. Uh, leadership, what really matters, uh, gets in all English-spoken countries. And it was the first German leadership book wo was translated also in China and was very successful there. The third uh, experience is that I am more than 20 years um, leadership trainer and an executive coach for um, managing directors, uh, board members, and entrepreneurs. And the fourth uh, experience is that I'm uh, also a professor of leadership in international uh, universities like technical universities Munich or the um, capital university uh, in Beijing. So this is my background <clears throat> about leadership. Awesome. I mean, that's very profound. And of course, that means that you have a lot of, uh, let's say, ideas for leadership mean also on an international scale. So how would you define leadership or what does leadership to you personally? Yes, well, well, for me, the first, the, the first the point, uh, is, I, I think the most important is um, a leader, a leader have functions. And the first uh, uh, function is it, you, you must have a vision and a strategy where you want to go with your company. You're the man who you go the way, where is the way, how to go. What is, what is the goal, the vision? Uh, then comes strategy, then tactic, and then the operations. The second thing, you must be able to feel the decisions that you can achieve this uh, goal. Uh, third uh, thing is you must, you must be a good communicator that uh, other can understand what you mean and are, are able to follow you. And the fourth thing uh, is um, that you, I don't know exactly the word in English, in Germany, is Wertschätzung. You, you must be, uh, have, you must like, uh, I'm not sure that like is the right word, but you must have a, a like, a passion for humans. Uh, mm -hmm. This is very important because um, the leadership uh, process is all, all, always an interpersonal process. So people feel that um, feel the heart you bring in, 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 in what you mean. Mm -hmm. Encourage your heart, said my uh, U.S. American uh, colleague. Uh, we, have, uh, we have written a very famous book about this. Um, and um, so this, uh, these are the four, the, the four, main uh, important uh, things uh, who, is the, who makes the difference between a good leadership or a bad leadership. Mm -hmm. I mean, as you, as you have trained and educated so many leaders on your path, yeah. um, what 
can you outline a little bit what are the fears or problems or yeah challenges that leaders of these days uh, have on their agenda or fear what keeps them awake at night so to speak yeah okay uh, it have a little bit changed in the last years about um, um, the technology about digitalization uh, internet but The most thing where they're afraid of is um, they afraid to lose their status, their, the, 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 the power, the positions. The, and and, and uh, good leaders are very self-confident. They, they know, um, um, this is the old word from uh, Peters, who said, uh, A peoples hires A peoples and B peoples hire C and D peoples. If you are a strong person in yourself, you are not afraid of others. This was in my way. My, 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 my way of success was I always have hired very strong uh, peoples. Uh, guys and women, no matter. Um, strong peoples who have an uh, opinion about what they want which way they want to go and I give them the space mm -hmm. and I was uh, and I uh, I had that one of this guy always uh, have um, uh, was very uh, encouraged in, uh, he wants to make uh, a great career and I always said to him hey if you make your job good no problem here's my chair and in five years you can sit on this chair when you are successful I, I will be successful too and my way will go up <laughs> in the next the next step mm. so this is my this is my uh, uh, this is my um, um, intention of, of leadership but if you are a person who is afraid and you have a good uh, a good uh, uh, a good manager, a good leader in your team. And you are always afraid, oh my God, this guy is much better than me. Uh, I must, um, must break him out. Then uh, 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 he cannot be successful. And if he's not successful, uh, he will leave the company or, or the job. Uh, and uh, you have no success for you. Mm -hmm. and, and and this is one of the most thing the uh, afraid uh, fear fear the fear the fear of uh, losing losing power losing uh, losing position uh, so this is the most important thing and now in the last year is coming an, a second uh, a, a second uh, situation is about uh, uh, how you can uh, lead a people in a remote uh, 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 state. If you have not uh, see them every time uh, in the office because they are in home office, how you can handle this? Um, a, a lot of uh, uh, managers and leaders uh, have a feel of um, oh, Überforderung. Um, um, Uh, um, they don't, it's over complex yes yeah. it's over complex yes it's over complex I cannot handle it yeah yes I'm sorry about this sometimes I, I, I forget the words <laughs> okay so this is the, uh, the, two, the two things um, if, if you think back and I think that, that, that uh, also something that I've heard of of course um, um losing control to be yes. one of the let's say uh, things that uh, leaders fear these days um, do you think that with uh, the trend let's say to go agile that this is not only something required let's say at least in agile organizations right there's not this Uh, um, strict hierarchy anymore it's more uh, network organizations where you not really have a control or power uh, defined by resources allocated to you it's more about topics or more about let's say hor horizontal yeah maybe themes do you think that there are also um, let's say 
transformations required for each leader to to be more open um, and to let's say maybe give back control, but to win uh, maybe other things. Absolutely, absolutely. This is what I'm uh, uh, what I'm uh, doing um, this way. This path I I was um, go uh, when I was. Uh, um, at my own uh, young guy with 34 years and I, I got my first job as a managing director and uh, for me ne it's never important hierarchies and uh, power and centralism um, I always um, uh, I, I created the, um, uh, um, in Germany a word it's um, a leadership um, Uh, führen heißt eine Welt zu gestalten, uh, der andere Menschen gerne folgen wollen. In Englisch in etwa, uh, leadership means to create a world who other uh, want to be a part of. Okay. This, uh, this, is, uh, this is my, uh, my absolute uh, inner conviction that this is the right way um, to give up control. Uh, I come back what I said in the intro. The, the first, absolutely first main uh, function you have as a leader is you are the person to say, this is the way, here is the goal. The, this is a vision, to create a vision mm -hmm. where we want to go with this company or with my team. And if you have, uh, uh, if you have defined it, then you must feel uh, uh, a lot of um, uh, decisions uh, uh, to go into uh, uh, in the operation operat op operationalisierung um, operationalization yeah yes opera yes oh complicated word in english and um, so and you you give the the, the planks for for the um, for the team Uh, uh, or you can say you define a uh, space. This is your mm -hmm. space and what you will do in this space. It's up, up to you. It's your decision. Mm -hmm. But you give the borders to say, but here is ending what, what you can do because there are other teams also. So this is the, your job. You handle spaces. Mm -hmm. uh, I you have defined... Yeah, I have defined a very interesting uh, model about this. This is an, it's uh, in, uh, in in 2014. I, I named it uh, the sphere model of systemic leadership, and you can uh, you can watch it. It's also in English, uh, uh, a white paper. I have published it at the white paper, and it's on my website. Uh, and and you can download it for free, and there you see a um, uh, you see a, like a, um, um, a ball, and in the ball are knots and ties, and the knots is the position, the leading position. If you are the CEO CEO of a company, of course you have a big knot, um, but there are uh, there are big knots, there are middle big knots, there are small knots. Uh, and then you have the ties. The ties are the, the communication between the knots. And you can influence this, uh, this whole uh, system. And system means now maybe a company um, uh, uh, or a social organization or whatever. And you can, if, the, if you have the, um, the, the right knots with the, with the strong ties, then you can influence a whole company. So it means you, you, and this must not be the strongest. You can also have power to influence the system. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. So um, I think the, like you said, right? So the importance is to bring in uh, rules and guardrails so that everybody knows what is the, the rule of the game. So that yeah. uh, there's not, let's say, anarchy or, or yeah. uh, lack of control. Now, switching gears, uh, as you mentioned, the other point, which I think these days is very relevant, that uh, I work with many, many different clients uh, worldwide, and I would guess 59, uh, sorry, 95% of, of the people are still working from home. 
and many many companies yep. these days try to make initiatives to bring the people back into the offices because yeah of course this remote work uh, has of course its benefits for yep. each of us but it also has negative impacts so exactly. what are the discussions that you that you have with with leaders uh, at, at your uh, company these days and, and how they let's say drive initiatives to to motivate people coming back to bring in new routines or maybe hybrid working methods right Yeah, hybrid working is, is one way. Um, I see uh, the human, we all are social. We are social individuals and we need contact with others. And uh, homework is in, in one part uh, a great thing. Um, you can save a lot of time for traveling and so on. We, we know this all. But uh, on long term, The people want to be to stay together with 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 each other because they like it to communicate to have the social contact in the company. This is the the if you're drinking a, a hello uh, a coffee um, a, a, a coffee in the in the kitchen or something, and and you have the normal um, how we said in. In, in German, the the the, trage, <laughs> uh, the gossip. Yeah, the gossip. What, what, what's happening? Yes. This is very important because this is, this are the soft skills from humans. Uh, humans need this, and so I, I think we, the 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 way will go in a hybrid um, working situation. You have maybe two days in home office, and three days you go in back in company. So three days is okay, then you can hold all the contacts. And the other is good for you. You can better organize your work at home. Um, so so on. I think this will be the this will be the the the, the, the future. The, um, yes, the way how people will working. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Um, How, how or what are the discussions from, from leaders that you work with to, to motivate people coming back? Because I see now uh, many, many um, situations where the people have gotten used to be at home, right? I mean, uh, I'm also um, uh, convinced that uh, people like that kind of, let's say, yep. uh, easy behavior, right? They, they are uh, yep. comfortable at home. They, they can maybe do a lot of stuff that they have not done before. Uh, many people also have left uh, big cities due to housing is uh, 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 very expensive. Uh, so yeah. they go more outside of the city maybe to, to have more traveling. So how, yeah. how do you convince people as a leader to come back to the <laughs> office to, let's say, to benefit also from the important piece uh, and that, that I'm fully okay. aware and fully agree that uh, okay. we are... We are, let's say, a society, right? We, we need other yes. humans to interact personally. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I understand your point. Maybe this is more uh, a few in uh, in USA or in other countries. Germany is very easy because we have a very clear um, um, contracts, law, law contracts about the... Uh, employees and the, the company and is uh, the job of the of the company uh, uh, to define this situation uh, so from from this from the part of 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 the contract you have not a, a really um, a choice in germany because the contract is you working you working for a company And the, the company decided how you will do this work. And if the company will say, okay, we offer you uh, 60% in the company, 40% at home office, then it is so. If the company will say, okay, uh, remote work is over now, just now, you come back for 100%, then you have no choice because um, this is the... This is the um, The, yes, this is uh, this is the, uh, the 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 law, the the working law in Germany. So um, you have not a really a choice. Good companies, I think, will find good compromise.
compromises about this. Um, they will they will listen to the to the to the employees and said, okay, here is a special situation. Maybe young women have um, have a kid. Uh, man is also working. Okay, we will looking if she's good in his job in her job. We were looking what what is so we will find a together a way of a compromise. Okay, yeah. uh, but in the in the general situation, um, it's um, this is um, on the side uh, of the company w how they want to handle this. Do you think that there are differences? Uh, I mean, as you work and have experiences abroad in China and the US as well, yeah. do you think that there are, there are differences uh, between the different cultures as well? Uh, yes, that, of that course. Diffi big, uh, big, difficult to big. handle? Yes, yes, there are really big, big differences, uh, especially at these three uh, countries uh, you named, uh, USA, uh, China, and uh, Germany are very, very different in, in, this, in this field. Uh, how uh, in China, uh, okay, in the moment, because the corona situation is, is the other situation, but in China, this is a very hierarchical system, very, very hierarchical and centralized system. It's like all over the political system there. This is a communist dictature. Uh, this is not a, a democracy. So in US, um, it's, it's a little bit other because uh, they, they uh, but they, I don't know exactly the law, the, uh, the work law, uh, law of, of, of the US uh, companies, but um, I think it's not really bit, uh, not really very different to the German. Uh, German uh, uh, law. So, and in Germany, we are more. Uh, we like uh, in Germany. I will say, you have the side. A lot of people wants to go in the company, back in the company. Uh, for them, is a uh, home office good for one day, maximum two days. But at the other time, they won't. They want to go back in uh, in in the company to have the social contacts. So um, I offer I offered some of my employees many many years for 15 years uh, uh, I gave them the the freedom if you want to stay one or two days per week at home you can do it and uh, I offer them everybody and only a few parts of the employees use it uh, they want to come in in the company and this um, was long time before we have discussion a discussion about remote work or something in this way so because i realized at my own for some uh, function uh, if if people um, must to make a uh, um, a trainings plan or something my, my, my marketing uh, my marketing uh, manager he must uh, think about uh, about a new marketing uh, planning for the next year so maybe better he's two days uh, at home and make this at home than he have a silent a silent space no calls nothing so but uh, in in normally the people don't want really this this offer they want they want come in the offer in, in the in the in the company i mean there are many initiatives these days that are at least hear or notice from companies that they try to make savings out of by yeah. reduced rental yeah. um, in my opinion this is very short-term thought because uh, the impact of course uh, in terms of efficiencies uh, and uh, in terms of yeah effectiveness of the organization will only be visible in a certain period of time when of course it just declines mm -hmm. and you don't see that that um, uh, Uh, connections, as you mentioned, right? That is very important. This, uh, well, we described it as gossip, but you know what I mean, right? When people yeah. exchange ideas, maybe uh, during a coffee break or maybe talk yeah. about a customer problem uh, during a lunch break. So how, uh, yeah, what could be yes, done as and to attract people coming back to the office? You are, yes, what, the most thing is um, people love this... Um, Uh, energy mm -hmm. to go uh, to 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 uh, to to 
invented to develop new ideas. And new ideas uh, to developing is, is, is very good in a team. Yeah. Maybe you have an idea how something can go better or here is a way to be more successful. You, you have uh, the idea for yourself, but if it works, you must go in, in, in discussion with other people. What is their experience, what they mean? So, and this is, in, and if you have a good space for this, um, a good atmosphere, then you can create uh, uh, new things. And this is, the, this is the point. I say, why it's so important that humans are together not not the whole time, not 100%, but 60%. I think I'm really uh, convinced that this is a way it works. They are together. They can, um, they have their social context. They, they can uh, invent new ideas. They feel an energy to, to be with others together. And they have fun also. And this is really important to have fun in your job and the whole day to sitting on your on your laptop okay maybe if you are an it nerd but not not for me for me will not this not work uh maybe two hours okay but uh, um sorry then i'm a, then i'm too old for maybe for the uh, for the generation you you attract him for but um the whole day to sitting only on a laptop and be with myself uh um, I, I, I don't want to do this. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, it has also something to do, in my belief, with the culture, right? Because at the yeah. end, uh, it can be a blue, a green, a yellow, or whatever laptop at the end. Mm -hmm. So it's it's completely exchangeable if you are at the home office. Uh, so if you work for yeah. one company or the other company. So what really drives, let's say, a culture or a company is the people that are in the company, right? Yeah. So absolutely, absolutely agree. So, uh, uh, Daniel, um, uh, I think or I believe we could talk uh, for hours more, but yeah. maybe you can give uh, a glimpse uh, when you remember your you back when you started your career as a leader. What yeah. would be the advice of what you have uh, given uh, the younger Daniel uh, at hand uh, when yeah. you started <laughs> his career? Oh. Uh. I think I have made a lot of things right. Um, and not because I have a, a lot of training. I have no training. <laughs> no, uh, this, this was the normal way. Um, there is a chance and you get it or you you are afraid so and i was always i i i'm looking for chances for new new experiences and uh um i will say i have um um, um uh, intention for what i must what is my what i must do in 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 in, in new situations um I feel every time most important is um, you must uh, encourage the, the people. You must uh, lighting a fire in them, in them. And you will not do this with, uh, okay, now uh, the, the goals is uh, we want to increase uh, the turnover for uh, 30% and the uh, profit uh, for 20%. This gives no energy, but to create a picture, to say, I will go with this company on a way that we are the leading management training institution in Germany. And I will do everything for this, but I need you and your experience, and I give you the space. This is a fire. So this was okay. What, what I will do better is to have a little bit more... Um, Oh, now I'm, uh, it's Gelassenheit. Um, um, das Wort kann ich jetzt Relaxation, but, uh, to More be, relaxed uh, in some situation. Yeah. Uh, slow down. Maybe yeah. I, I have, uh, in, in some situation, 
too much power, too much energy. Uh, better than relax more. Uh, listen to the people, more to the people. Don't speak, uh, don't speak by your own so much. Listen more to people and relax. Not, not every time relaxing is also not good, but not too much power. More relaxing. And that's it. And um, 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 yes, that's, this is very important. And uh, do a good job. Bring your, all your passion in your job, your heart, your passion, your energy, your knowledge. Um, feel, find the difference between sometimes it's, it's necessary to make not to care, to be too careful, better you go a risk. But a risk with, um, uh, is, is not destroying the company. Um, a, a risk you can handle if it's going on the wrong way. So that's it. All other awesome. you, will, you will you will find out in, in the life. It's a life. Sorry. Now I'm I'm more than thirty years in in in, in, in now uh, more than thirty years in the in the uh, in the field of uh, of uh, leading companies, teams, and so on, and in all over 30 years you have seen a lot of things and uh, you never can plan it never the things always come other than you plan i never have planned after i finished my studies to want to make a big career uh, in companies that was not my uh, that was not my goal i want to have very interesting uh, and exciting projects and in every time when i find when there was an opportunity that there is a project I was the first who said, here I am. I want to do it. Awesome. And so that was the way I was my first big project. I was 28. I was uh, in, for a big energy uh, company who is imported the gas of Russia, Gazprom. Today, very, very <laughs> in discussion, of course, yes. And I was 28 and they, my company sent me to Russia to train mm. uh, Russian managers from Gazprom. And they asked all the, 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 um, the team manager, I was the youngest team manager in this company, uh, here we have an opportunity, who, who, who from you want to go to Russia for several months? Nobody is, um, yes, say here. The only, the only guy was me. <laughs> because I was thinking, <laughs> wow, Russia, very interesting. I have no, no matter what is in Russia happen, but uh, I will find it out. I go to Russia. So I go to Russia. And this was really exciting, really, really exciting for me. It's not always that I learned uh, Moscow and St. Petersburg. No, uh, I was sent also to Siberia, mi mm. minus 40 degree in winter. I say, if you have this as an ex experience, you understand a lot of things more how these peoples are, how they are. Um, because the, the, the landscape is so unbelievable huge. <laughs> so, and this, yes, are changing minds from people. So, and, and this was a very important um, experience for me and so on. So I have a lot of, um, of, of can telling story about a lot of lot of uh, situation and i was always the type of i said here challenging here come to me i want here i want it so and this is i the, mean this uh, of course uh, yeah Sorry? And this is of course uh, what what made you uh, right the, the character that you are these days so go for leadership the podcast with Daniel and Gerd. Thank you much for being our guest today. Yes, it's been a real pleasure. Yes, thank you. Go for Leadership, the podcast.